Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. It is Throwback Thursday again. Throwback Thursday is really quickly becoming one of my favorite uh, videos to do. We are going to use the Painted Harvest set today and we're going to add in the greeting of Happy Birthday from the Cottage Rose set. As well, we're going to use some of the adhesive backed sequins. So combining um, a retired set with some current, what I've got is a Mango Melody base with a Flirty Flamingo mat, and I've used the uh, deckled rectangles, yes, the deckled rectangle die. This is the um, largest one here to do the um, Flirty Flamingo. And then I've got the next size down, which we'll use to cut out the uh, center. So we have to build the center uh, and it requires two-step stamping as well as masking. So what I'm going to do, I have my mask. I just, when I do a mask like this, I keep it and I tuck it in with the stamp set so that I don't have to make another one. So we're going to do two-step stamping with the same color. Um, you can use other colors if you like. You can combine anything. Um, this uh, Painted Harvest uh, originally kind of meant to be um, sunflowers, but you can absolutely do whatever you like. Now these stamps, I orient them. There's a little bit of a, a notch here that matches the notch here. So when I have them on the blocks, I make sure that they are the same way on the block so that I can uh, match them up more easily. So I'm going to come in with second value with the larger of the stamps, and I'm just going to pop it down like that. And then I'm going to mask that. This mask goes on like this. And I'm going to back it off just a bit. You can see a hint of the previously stamped flower um, next to it, but that's so that I don't get that shadow, that little um, white space in between. So I'm now going to stamp this like that. Okay. So now I need to come in. I did end up with a little bit of white space, but that's okay. I need to come in with the, um, the second stamp and I'm just going to make sure I'm lined up here and I am. So I'm going to going to come in full value on this one and just drop it down to create that depth. Can you see now the depth between the two? So I'm going to come back in and I'm going to offset this a little bit so that I fill in those white spaces there. So I'm just gonna leave that there, drop this down like this, and there we go. So we've kind of filled it in. This flower is still kind of over top of the other flower. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to take the Happy Birthday from the Cottage Rose set and I am going to ink up at the top here. There we go. The reason I'm doing this now is to make sure I'm straight. Um, I need it to be, I need to do the flowers first so I knew where to do the Happy Birthday piece. Um, but I wanted to stamp the Happy Birthday. This one is actually the sticker and the stamp are actually mounted very close. Um, so if I'm straight on the back, I'm straight on the front. So uh, that one's easy enough to do. But if I did it crooked, I didn't want to have all my stamping done and then have to come in and fix it. So I'm going to do the centers of the flowers. I'm going to do them with the uh, Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to come in and just drop those down in the middle like that. Okay, and if you've got a bit of white space, you can always come in with a second value and just make sure you're overlapped and it'll just fill that kind of white space in a little bit without 
uh, darkening it too much. Okay, so our next step, we are going to do the Mango Melody and we're going to take the little dots in the middle and we're just going to tap them in like this. Just adds that little bit of interest just in the middle, that, that extra little oomph, that extra little bit of dimension. So now we're going to do the leaves. These leaves I did in Granny Apple Green and I found it just a little harsh for this card. So I'm going to use the Parakeet Party and I am going to do, I did it full value on both of these. I think I'm going to try doing second value with the leaves, uh, with the background color, and then first value with the vein detail. So again, I'm going to need to get my uh, mask out so that I can stamp some leaves. And again, ink that up, second value, and stamp in like that. Okay, so we're going to ink up, second value, come in here like this with another set of leaves. Oops, I didn't press down hard enough. Sorry, I'm gonna get my hair in the frame because I wanna line that up again. There we go. Uh, I'm now going to, I can do more leaves. I can leave this here actually and do more leaves course it lined up perfectly the first time and now I can't get it to line up again there we go I'm going to do one more set of leaves down at the bottom here um, again second value and just pop that down like that while this is still here I'm going to come in with first value and pop those leaves over top just like that. Okay, now I'm going to move this over to the other flower so that I can do the same thing. I'm going to stamp away and then in like that, stamp away and like that. Now some of this is going to get cut off when I do the deckled rectangle. And I think I like it better with the um, parakeet, parakeet party. I wanted to say parakeet parade. I don't think that would have worked. But um, so there we go. That's all stamped up. And sorry, there is, this is a lot of stamping and it does take a little bit of time um, for this card. But I am going to pull out my base plate, my shim plate, my first cutting mat or cutting plate. Again, this goes in at an angle so that I don't have that harsh, harsh edge going up against the roller. I'm just gonna, going to grab a sticky note just to hold that in place like that. And then I'm going to run it through my stamp and cut emboss. I'd like to say hello to all my new subscribers and all the new people who've commented. Um, and a huge thanks to the uh, viewers who uh, regularly comment on my videos um, and ask questions and how does this work and how does that work and what happens if we do this. I love the interaction, I love the comments. So thank you, thank you for continuing to support what I'm doing. Okay. So I've got my Mango Melody card base with my Flirty Flamingo um, mat on here. I'm just going to flat mount this onto the front of the card. And I've done it at an angle. I always do things straight and lined up. And I thought this time, okay, I'll play outside the lines and I will do this crooked. So just, it adds a little bit of interest. It's something just a little bit funky. If you've got ribbon, you can add ribbon. I'm going to use the um, adhesive backed seasonal sequins. I'm just going to pop a few in where I think it needs a bit of a highlight. So these ones, the nice thing about the sequins, is you don't have to worry about um, them going through the, the mail Sometimes when you post something with a big um, uh, 
gem or something on it, it can actually tear through the envelope depending on the style of machines the post office uses. But these sequins will absolutely go through no problem. So there is our throwback Thursday card using Painted Harvest with the greeting from Cottage Rose. Thank you so, so much for watching today and let's create together again soon.